Sorry, kid. This is not a game for you. What? 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 Uh, okay. I'll play something else. What the hell? <laughs> uh, welcome to Decarnation. Decarnation is a psychological horror game with mature subject matter and imagery. It is not suitable for young audiences. Player discretion is advised. Okay, now you've got to tell me more. Like, th that's a hell of a way to begin. We've made great efforts to present more difficult themes in an artistically responsible and meaningful way. However, the game may not be suitable for you. If you feel psychologically vulnerable to visual or written portrayals of any of the... Oh my god, that's quite a list. Alright, well, um, you can just pause the video right here, read this list, and uh, make your own decision on whether or not to watch this. But with that, I'm gonna say I accept... Oh! And I guess we just go. Right, welcome to Decarnation. And we're back. <laughs> wow. Uh, I didn't even realize that it would do that before it took me to a menu, so... Well then. Uh, yeah. Like I said, welcome to Decarnation. This is a game that's been out for like a year, I think. Um, I've been looking at it for a while, never got around to playing it, but it was gifted to me by my good friend Pinkie Pie Crust. So thank you very much. I'm just gonna screw around in the settings for a bit, and then we'll simply get going. Okay, well, it uh, seems pretty straightforward. Not a lot of settings to screw around with, so um, I'm just opening a drink here, and let's go. June 1989. Oh, that's like a month before I was born. Okay. You're 29, right? Right. Oh, I'm being sculpted. Okay. I just wanted to say, I'm really excited to be here. To experience this. Let's say we were lucky. Lucky? That I found you in time, in your cabaret. Before everything falls apart. Excuse me. Falls apart? The other day I came across the first girl approach from me. We weren't even 20 at that time. Ah, Finette. As bright as the sun. A buddy Chelly come to life, you know? And now, look what's left. Jesus. A decrepit troll in clown's makeup. Wow, fuck this guy. <laughs> I'd like to take a break. Covered in cheap trinkets, clutching a little dog to divert the eye. Makes me sick. Wow, this guy fucking sucks ass. Right. Welcome to the welcome to decarnation, I guess. Act one. The dancer. Four months later, in glorious apartment. Who is it? Oh, this looks like a nice place. My morning face sure is the worst. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. Jesus. Take it easy. Seriously? It's joy. Joy first, shower second. So let her in. How, how, do, how do I let her in? We, the show I performed this summer. A sexy twist on French Revolution. American tourists loved it. Swan Lake, 1950. Mom was prima ballerina. I didn't even exist back then. Joy first, shower second. What are you- Oh, she's there. Oh, I thought that was the front door. I'm an idiot. My bad. Glorious Dream Diary. Used to be a cool idea, but now it's just where I write my grocery list. Don't have much of an appetite. I'm just expecting the house before I do much of anything else. Call now and save up to 50% off on Bye Bye Under the Eye Anti-Aging Concealer. Daily use will be fatal, uh, vital for your all-new way to face the world. Jesus Christ. Alright, Joy, get in here. Well, hello, Cupcake. 
Aww. Nervous? Think it'll be crowded? Joy, I didn't get off work until 2 in the morning. Go easy on me with the questions, okay? Oops, sorry. But, yeah, I'm slightly anxious. I'm mostly curious to see what it looks like. Well, I imagine a statue of you will look... Like you, probably. You know what I mean. What will it say about me? What will people see in her? And will it make college girls weak in the knees? I don't know why I bother. Sure you do. Come on, get ready so we can go. I'll wait outside. Oh! This is very nice music. No idea what she's singing, but hey. I'm just vibing to this song at this point. Yay. Oh, getting dressed, I guess. Yep. Uh, oh, deodorant. <laughs> there we go. Now I look like ready to face the world. I almost don't want to end this song. Oh, I almost forgot the little blue box for joy. Oh, a little blue box, you say? Come here, you. What might be in that? Wanna grab a cab? Sure. A sweet old lady lives here. All the residents in this floor call her Gran. She must be so lonely. Her kids never visit. You coming? Oh, I like this piano thing here. That's cool. This guy moved in the building a year ago. Super creepy. They say he was an orchestra conductor who just quit for some reason. Whenever you're ready. Hey, I want to know who lives here, alright? Chill the fuck out, Joy. Ugh, these two. I can hear them fighting from my apartment at least three times a week. Maybe she shouldn't have let him move in with her. And to think some people have kids on purpose. Eh, you get the good with the bad. Every time I see her cradling the baby, she looks content. Fulfilled. She's got to make a good show of it. Keep her spirits up. Otherwise, she'd never make it through 20 years of cleaning up after it. Okay, Joy. I don't have plans to get kids myself, but take it easy. By the time she's my age, her kid will be in primary school. Oh. So a very young mom. Okay. Think they'll have champagne? <laughs> At 10 in the morning? Decarnation. Well, this is immediately a very likable game, like... St. Louis Foundation for Art, 10.30 a.m. Alright. Can you imagine? A statue of me between a toulou la and a Mod Modillion? No pressure, huh? Relax, Mona Gloria. It's gonna be stunning. Okay, so I don't know anything about art, so... Well, not about fine art, at least. So, if I say some dumb shit or mispronounce artist names, just, just roll with it. Mostly colored dots, fruit basket, and women. Clothing optional. Oh, and this one's a famous piece of pop art. A big ravioli can or something. Fine Arts Magazine, September 1989. Petrus, feeding on the female form. I haven't been in here since high school art class. A donation box. Make a donation? Uh, sure. Not a lot, but better than nothing. Alright, let's talk to her. Hello. One adult and one student? Well, actually, I'm the model for the Petra statue. Maybe you left a note? My name's Gloria. Congratulations, Gloria, but there's no such note here. Oh, I thought that maybe... All I have are tickets. Adults and students. Are you for real? She posed naked for that guy for three days straight. She's a famous dancer, you know. Just let us in. Absolutely. After you've paid. Whoever your famous dancer friend chooses to expose herself to is none of my concern. You... It's okay, Joy. 
This one's on me. It's not okay, Gloria. That artist jerk didn't even pay you for your time. The least he could do was buy the tickets. I agree. Here. And these are for you and your passionate friend. Enjoy your visits. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. What a dick. It's not her fault, Joy. Gloria, you'd let a slug roll over you. Oh. Wow, they sure drew a crowd and a half. I'm fine with that. Blah, blah, blah. Transform transformative her. Men. Mutics? Why is art talk always so pretentious? Because otherwise, the people running museums like these can't feel big and important. Take it from an expert. This is total bullshit. And I'm sure you're right. John Everett Millay, Ophelia, 1852. A woman immersed in a pond. If she's not dead, she's got me fooled. Francis Bacon, study for a crucifixion, 1944. What a gruesome creature. Like some kind of blind beast. All these disturbing images. They seem like they're stimulating something deep inside this. Oh, that's Gloria. Paul McCarthy, painter, year unknown. Everything about this is gross. What kind of sicko comes up with this? Abramovic and Ulay, Light Dark 1977. A man and woman slapping one another over and over. Their pain is plain to see. Yeah, the modern art world is weird like that. Of course, this is 1989, so... The last line reads, We came for the Impressionists. Disappointed. What's up with this guy? Sir? He must have had a good time last night. Could be a Black Swan customer. Okay, let's move on. What else we got here? Rembrandt, The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Tulp, 1632. Men in black robes and white collars, standing over a naked corpse. The poor guy's being dissected. Looks like my tax law professor. What a psycho. Jean Honoré Fragonard, The Lock, 1777. A man and woman, a red curtain and a heavy door. Something murky emanates from this painting. The rise of abstraction marked the fall of art. Oh, sure it did. The red rose. Looks way too pretty to be real. Is this just a teddy bear? Hans Belmer, The Doll, 1965. Two pairs of hips and two valvae, with a big round belly in the middle. Oh. Hard to say if it's a critique of society or the artist's fantasy. David Keith Lynch. Bob loves Sally until she's blue in the face. You're unknown. Is the blue for boredom, depression, or asphyxia? Takato Yamamoto, Night Mirror, Year Unknown. A skeleton in a kimono, caressing a woman. You can't tell by her face whether she's frightened or not. I guess my fancy bronze self should be just in here. Auguste Rodin, Head of the Tragic Muse, 1891. This one is mesmerizing. I can't tell if her eyes are open, closed, or just gone. Raoul Hausmann, The Spirit of Our Time, 1920. A wooden head, impassive and adorned with mechanical arts and ads. Oh, and there I am. Here she is, bronze glory and all her glory, and someone is feeling her up. Wait, what? He... I... Yeah, I'd want to get out of there too, what a creep. Oh, really? Joy... In your opinion, is this one of two women's bodies? It's for my stats on naked women in museums. It depends on what you consider to be the relative value of a minch versus a mug. What? You know, I'm not surprised to hear you say that. Joy! Gloria? I... I think I'd like to go now. What, already? 
let me check out your statue first. Don't bother. She's not that interesting. Doesn't have much tit to speak of either. What? Look, man. Leaving so soon? Look, man, I'm no prude. You would never hear me say something like that about a statue. <laughs> Was the statue really that bad? Yep, clearly. Gloria, please. Seriously, what's going on with you? It's nothing. I just want to get out of here. But your statue... Forget the statue. The real thing is standing right here. You were so excited to see it. Now you're just going to run away? That makes no sense. Just leave it. I want to do something... I don't know, something fun. Hold on, did I miss something? No, no, I just got a little worked up and... Look, let's just do something fun this afternoon. You and me. Maybe go shopping or... I don't know. We can just chill at my place. Watch a movie. Not today, Glow. I've got to keep grinding away at this thesis paper. But I'll come see you tonight at the Swan? Sure. Stop by my dressing room before the show. Cool. Catch you later, Glow. Catch you later. Cupcake. Cordelion Swimming Pool, 11.30 a.m. Oh, I guess we're going swimming. Where am I? Is that me? Swimming there? Oh, hello. That's the problem with you. Everything has to be so complicated with you. I just want us to have a good time. But sooner or later, you bring it all down. It's a shame. What's happening here? Running from the past, afraid of the future. And freaking out in the present. I want to see what she has to say, though. Oh, is she starting over? Yep. Alright, get underwater. I'm not in the mood to listen to more. Get out of here. Oh, okay, she's actually drowning. What? <laughs> This is a bizarre game, but I'm super fucking loving it so far. Alright, so, let's see, she's a dancer. What's with her arm? Oh, I guess those are just gloves. For this evening's final performance... The Black Swan humbly presents for your pleasure... The mesmerizing... The mysterious and magnificent... Lady Gloria! Oh shit, oh. Okay, I guess we're doing a rhythm game here. Okay, I, I don't think I'm doing super well in this. I don't really have time to register whether or not I'm doing well. Once again, loving the music though. Completely missed that one. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, hello. Did not realize it was that kind of show. Okay. 
Knock, knock. You missed the show. Sorry, I got caught up in, in catching up. How'd it go? The audience was thrilled, as usual. I kind of needed that after this morning. The museum? Yeah, that hag at the counter was a total cunt. No, I, I mean you, Joy. You were being so... Distant. Distant? You're the one who decided to split and wouldn't say why. I asked you to spend the afternoon with me. I told you, I have a thesis to finish, and it's important. Sure, your thesis, that's what it was. I thought you were supposed to be the mature one. What's with a tantrum? Tantrum? You're the baby here, not me! I don't know why I said that. It was stupid. Stupid, but kind of funny. Damn. Joy, I... Yeah? I have something for you. What is it? Go on. It won't bite. Wait, what's this key? It's to my apartment. So you can come and go as you please. I thought it was gonna be a wedding ring and I was like, France 1989? I wonder how that works. <laughs> wow, this is a bit of a surprise. I hope you use it. I hope you feel about me the way I do about you. Ah, Gloria, you're still here. Hey. How's it going, Mr. Director? Uh, what's this? Why are you here? Because class lit out a few hours ago. And don't you have a home to go to? Okay, roger that. I'm out of here. I thought, aren't we going home together? Look, I'm beat, and I still got tons of work to do. I'll call you tomorrow. Tomorrow? She didn't even say thanks for the key. Yeah, tomorrow. Promise. Glorious Gloria, you sure lived up to your name tonight. Thanks, Aldo. Such energy and the precision of your every move. I did do well, apparently. But what's going on, Aldo? When you start with the compliments, I know it means something's up. What? N no, not at all. <laughs> Good. So? Well, I thought we could have a little check-in. I'd chat about this past year and the next. It'll be a tenth with the swan. Can we leave it for another day? Right now, I just want to put my pants on and go home. Of course, Gloria, of course. There's no rush. Thanks, Aldo. Actually, let's do it tomorrow afternoon uh, and get it out of the way. Sure thing, boss. She's getting fired for being too old or something. I'm calling it. <sighs> that seems to be the theme here. A whole lot of uh, female objectification. Sounds like the baby is finally asleep. He's got the right idea. The door's cracked from the last time that asshole kicked it. Wonder how good he was at conducting. Not that it would make any difference for him now. Why is there like a teapot out here? Sleep tight, Gran. What the? Oh, it's a bouquet of roses. Hmm? Joy? Huh, not even a card. Doesn't seem like Joy anyway. Probably another regular from the cabaret. Again. Okay. No, oh, Jesus Christ! Alright, take it easy, I'm coming. Miss Gloria? Yeah, who is it? I'm calling on behalf of Mr. St. Louis. St. Louis? Like the St. Louis group? Uh, precisely. My name is Laurent Carnot. Our president, Ave St. Louis, would be very pleased to make your acquaintance. Your president wants to meet me? He's seen your performance more than once. Mr. St. Louis is surely your most enthusiastic admirer and a rather significant patron of the arts. Painting, architecture, urban arts, and of course, dancing. Have you received the flowers he sent you? Yes, I have. They're right here, in all their splendor. 
Perfect. When would you be available to meet Mr. St. Louis? For a discussion about art and your future endeavors. Uh, that's kind of him, but I already have a boss. Pretty greedy one for sure, but I'm happy at the Black Swan. I'm sorry if I haven't been quite clear. It isn't simply a job that's being offered. It's a whole new step in your career as an artist. You'll have the opportunity to create your own show, to your liking. You'll have a significant budget and complete creative freedom. Oh. Isn't that every artist's dream? We'll have a showing in Paris, of course, as well as several European capitals. Then New York, Los Angeles, and Tokyo. I've always dreamed of going to New York. Strolling along Broadway, seeing the Statue of Liberty. When would you be available for a more in-depth discussion with Mr. St. Louis? Mr. Bast? Actually, I don't think it'll be possible. I'm sorry. I'm not the artist your boss imagines. God damn it, girl, take it! Well, except for the part where that's probably where the horror stuff. Well, wait, Gloria, I... Mr. St. Louis, he just wants to help you. At least take my number. If you change your mind, I'm at your disposal. All right, if it'll keep you from getting into trouble with your boss, I'll take your number. And thank him for the flowers. They were a wonderful surprise. Yeah, that's why I threw them aside the instant I got inside. Hmm. Hmm? Joy. I may have rushed into giving her a copy of my keys. All right, I'll just leave her alone for two or three days. No calls, nothing. Detached. Why me? It's not like I'm some outstanding ballerina or edgy underground artist. Sorry, my lord, but I'll pass. I'm packing the crowds in this place. I should get a race. 30% Daldo or I'm out of here. <laughs> that sounds good. That guy in the gallery. Why was I so scared of him? I should have grabbed him by the balls and dragged him away from my pedestal kicking and screaming. Yeah, you should have. Mom. I hope the weather will be nice enough to sit outside. And I hope she won't pester me about all that marriage and career nonsense. 30 years old soon. It's gonna be so cool. They'll call me ma'am all the time. Ask me why I haven't got kids. Is she happy in her exhibition chamber? If I could, I'd install her in a lovely glade, far from Paris. I need to go shopping tomorrow, definitely. Tampons, bacon, vegetables, and a tiramisu. I've earned it. What time is it? Late, really late, and I can't sleep. Fuck. Joy. Oh, um... So how do I go to sleep? What the... Hold on. I don't want to go through all that again. Oh, I think I'm supposed to... Yeah, leave it alone. Okay. Thirty years old soon. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to leave it alone and let her fall asleep. Oh boy, I definitely know how what it feels like to overthink as you try to go to bed. Oh, hello. Okay, we're back here, I guess. Oh, that painting changed. I'm pretty sure. Strange characters forming illegible words. Yeah, because it's a dream. You can't read in a dream. Last night, I think I dreamed about the huge tree again. Gloria's dream diary. A drowning princess. A ravenous mouth. Mud. Heart strikes. Oh, hello. Oh, are the descriptions what she actually sees in these art pieces now? A prone body. A captive. 
Up. Oh. A puppet. Joy. A woman taken by force. The dis the disincarnation of a woman. Ew! Ew! A tragic fate. A puppet head. The master. Oh, that's the guy who was sculpting her, I think. Petrus. Woman's flesh. 1989. Can't believe I used to be proud of this. Disgusting. Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh! What the f- Okay. Um, where the fuck am I now? What? What? Um, how do, how do I go anywhere? Oh! Okay. What is this? Oh! I guess I just had to scream at it to make it go away. Well, this is all kinds of bizarre. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. No, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Ew. Too late. Everything falls apart. Oh, fuck this guy. Something fierce. Oh, can I not go anywhere from here? Does it mean anything what route I take? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can't go back. I wanted to check out the roses. Hold on, maybe I can if I go up here. Up. Let go! Nope, cannot. Okay. Oh, there's the kid watching violent shit. Let's say we were lucky. What the hell are you talking about? What? I'd like to... ...know you. Oh, there's Joy. With no eyes. JOY! So much matter. So much flesh. What the hell is happening here? I can't understand a word of it. I don't very much like to get out of here at this point. Um... I can't go anywhere. Oh! Okay. Just needed to yell. <laughs> that solves all problems. Tampons, bacon, vegetables. Wait! Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Please. Give me... A chance. Joy! Gloria, there you are. I've been looking for you. Listen. I need to tell you something. Back there, in the room, a guy abused me. What? What did he do to you? No, you, no, you don't get it. Not to me. To my statue. But it was the same, Joy. I swear it was the same. Exactly the same. Oh. I see. Typical Gloria. Always making a bigger deal out of everything than she needs to. And it shouldn't matter so much to you. Considering the job you do. Oh, she's sitting on a giant eye. The job I do? Up! Oh! Yep.
So, Gloria? Who's this? Is this her mom? Your statue. Are you happy? She's uh, true to life. <laughs> you must be delighted. Oh, you must be delighted then. I'll go see it when it's less crowded. It's a weird feeling. How so? Well, it's like... Like... <laughs> Never mind, forget it. I must admit I was surprised you'd agreed to pose. You never listen to me, so I haven't said anything, but... Mom... A statue highlights the sculptor, not the model. Everybody remembers Rodin, but not the poor man he forced to spend hours with his chin on his fist. And while your sculptor gets all the glory, you're wasting your youth and your potential in that sordid cabaret. Mom! Gloria, darling, you're a dancer. Your body's your livelihood. You work hard to maintain it, but... Well, you know what I mean. I remember what it's like. Yeah, yeah. If you don't try to evolve, you'll end up in trouble. And sooner than you think. What makes you think that I don't take care of my career? Why? Is there some sort of news, darling? Yeah, there is. There's a new project. An artistic one. Another statue? No, not at all. An international show. One where I'm in control. Well, isn't that something? And with what money exactly? Money from the St. Louis Foundation. The, the St. Louis Foundation? Like the St. Louis group? Precisely. Hervé St. Louis is a rather significant patron of the arts. And my most enthusiastic admirer. Oh, it just took a little prodding from mom to get you to jump on that hook, huh? Alright, fair enough. You should have seen the flower arrangement he sent me. It was massive. And where did he approach you? By the exit of your cabaret one evening? Of course not. I met him at a cocktail party. Gloria, it may not happen often, but I have to say that I'm impressed. We're considering about a world tour. Tokyo, New York, and they trust me completely. I should call his assistant back, by the way. As soon as possible. So are we gonna go talk to Aldo anytime soon? He said he had some shit to say. Oh. Where are we at now? Aldo, you're doing auditions? You didn't tell me. Yeah, because he's looking for your replacement. Good lord. Hey, Gloria. Uh, didn't Stephanie fill you in? You didn't ask me to, sir. Oh, well. I'm glad you're here. Should I ask the candidate to stop for a minute? No, we've got to see so many others. There's no time. You wanted to talk to me. Listen, Gloria. You're our most experienced dancer here, and the hardest working one. And therefore, I get a race? <laughs> Funny. That's not the point right now. Gloria, I want you to become the Black Swan's head coach. The what now? Let me explain. Next year, we're moving up from five to eight, or maybe even ten dancers. The new ones, heck, even the current ones need some training. They look cute on stage, but their technique? Uh, let's just say they haven't exactly come straight out of no reefs. So I thought about you. You can manage them, train them. Although, training dancers is a massive workload. Adding that to my own dance practice? I don't think it's possible. Not adding to, Gloria. Replacing. Okay, so he's not firing her flat out at least, but it's still, you know, at least to her, quite insulting. I don't think he means this in the worst possible way though? At least he's not given that vibe quite yet. Well, let's see, I could be wrong. Wait, what do you mean? Well, there's no need to kill yourself on stage if you're the head coach full time, is there? But you've earned a little rest and security, Gloria. I don't want to be benched. I want to stay on stage. Although, this is my life. 
next year and the year after that and... Gloria. You know you have to pass the torch someday. You've been on stage for nine years. I'm not even 30, Aldo. Better even. You'll be a hip head coach who's close to our dancers. You'll get the hang of managing others pretty quickly. You'll see. Yeah, he's definitely being insensitive at the very least. Aldo. Now, now, you're all right. I'm begging you. But you've had some time to think about it. You'll thank me, you know. Yeah, he's definitely still a jerk, but I don't think he's... I don't think he's trying to be mean. Exactly. But that might just be me. I wonder if my neighbors check my door, too. Nope, nothing happening here. Okay. Oh, hey, Joy. Sorry for showing up unannounced. No, I'm glad you did. Why didn't you wait inside? Don't you have the key I gave you? I do. You haven't even opened the box. Oh, no. You... It's not just about the key, Gloria. Listen. Go for it. I've been listening a lot lately. It's about us. You're everything anyone could ever ask for, and you'll be someone's perfect partner someday. Frankly, I had a great time with you these last three months. But here we are, heading for more. More than just a good time, and... I don't see that for myself. I understand. So please take back the box. The key. It was lovely of you. You have every right to be angry at me, or sad. That'd be normal and expected. Angry? Me? What could I possibly be angry about? All of this? Me ending our relationship? How could I be angry at you? I have no right. It's a relief, actually. We're so different. It would never have led anywhere. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, go on. I'm sure you have classes to prepare for. Take care, Gloria. Woof. That is a little something I like to call a step forward smile. Everything is fine. Up. Yep, everything sure seems fine. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. Is that her happy face or... Oh fuck. Wait, why was that wrong? What? What, what, what? Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna call Sing Louis now? Hello? Good evening. It's Gloria de Best. Gloria, a pleasure to hear from you. How are you doing? Absolutely wonderful. I'd like to accept. Master St. Louis' proposal, I mean. Mister, sorry. The show, the tour, everything he wants from me. I accept. Hello? Yes, my apologies. That's such wonderful news. A surprise, to be sure. Very well, Gloria. Uh, we will need to speed things along. I'll book a meeting with Mr. St. Louis. Let me check his agenda. Uh, tomorrow morning, 7.30? At the park in the Boulogne in the in the Boulogne Woods. Well, wow, I could barely say that. Boulogne Woods at seven thirty in the morning. Yes. And Mr. Saint Louis loves the tranquility of the place at dawn. Will that be a problem for you? Not at all. 
it's perfect. You're going to need directions. Uh, listen carefully. At the end of the main alley, there is a path on the right which cuts through the woods. Oh, there we go. All dressed up and ready to go. All right. Uh, oh, take that path and walk down it until you reach the lake. Mr. St. Louis will be there. Many artists have painted or sung about this place. I have no doubt you'll feel right at home. God, the pixel art in this game is, gl is glorious, by the way. Just look at this. Looks fucking amazing. Mr. St. Louis. Oh, jeez! Ow! What the hell? What's happening? Oh. Hey, okay. This is... Wait, that's just a mannequin. What? What just happened?